hello friend today we will discuss with what is meant by linear independent and linear dependent vectors if v is a vector space and v1 v2 vn are vectors then at what conditions they vectors are linearly dependent and when the vectors are linearly independent and we will uh, see one lemma theorem and corollary about linearly independent vectors now you can see on your screen the linear uh, definition of linearly dependent vectors uh, if if v is a vector space vector space and if v1 v2 vn are vectors we say we say that the vectors the we say that they are they are linearly linearly dependent dependent if there exist there exist scalars scalars alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha n in f such that such that alpha 1 into v 1 plus alpha 2 into v 2 plus 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 alpha n into v n equal to 0 equal to 0 where where not all alpha i's are 0. The linear combination of vectors and scalars is 0, where not all the scalars are 0. It is possible that there are some scalars are 0, but when not all the scalars are 0, but the linear combination of this vector is 0, they are said to be linearly dependent and the linear combination is 0 only if all the scalars are 0, then they are said to be linearly independent vectors. Now, we see example, if we have u equal to 1 comma minus 1 comma 0, v equal to 1 comma 3 comma minus 1 w equal to 5 comma 3 comma minus 2 and we will discuss where these vector are linearly dependent or linearly independent. For that purpose we take 3 scalars suppose I have 3 scalars alpha beta and gamma let us take their linear combination alpha u plus beta v plus gamma w equal to 0. Then substituting the values of the scalars alpha into 1 comma minus 1 comma 0 plus beta into 1 comma 3 comma minus 1 plus gamma into 5 comma 3 comma minus 2 equal to 0 means 0 vector 0 comma 0. It is an order tripled therefore, we should take 3 0 comma 0 comma 0 and you know how to multiply by uh, scalars to vectors. Then we get that alpha plus beta plus 5 comma minus alpha plus 3 beta plus 3 gamma 0 not, not necessarily uh, to write minus beta minus minus 2 gamma equal to 0 comma 0 comma 0. 
and from this we get three equations first equation alpha plus beta plus phi gamma equal to 0 second equation minus alpha plus 3 beta plus 3 gamma third equation minus beta minus 2 gamma equal to 0 here we have 0 ok now from this equation we have value of beta from this third equation we can calculate the value of beta and beta equal to we get here beta equal to minus 2 gamma beta equal to minus 2 gamma now substitute this value in the in these two equations so that all the equation will be converted into two equations alpha minus 2 gamma plus phi u gamma equal to 0 alpha plus uh, plus 3 gamma equal to 0 here minus alpha minus 6 gamma plus 3 gamma equal to 0 minus alpha minus 3 gamma equal to 0 now adding this two uh, or we get here um, alpha plus 3 gamma equal to 0 we get the same equation so this shows that this vector alpha equal to minus 3 gamma look at this beta equal to minus 2 gamma and alpha equal to minus 3 gamma all the vectors are depend on this vector gamma so if we choose a particular value of gamma equal to 1 we get that beta equal to minus 2 and alpha equal to minus 3 if we choose gamma equal to minus 1 then we get beta equal to 2 and alpha equal to 3 therefore we have the linear combination of this vector equal to 0 where the scalars are not 0 and therefore these vectors are linearly dependent vector they are not linearly independent vector ok let us see one more example of linearly uh, of uh, the linear dependence suppose suppose the vectors are v equal to 0 phi u minus 3 and 1 w equal to 0 0 7 minus 2 and u equal to 6 6 2 3 and 4 again let us take their linear combination every time we should have to take linear combination beta into v plus gamma into w equal to 0 alpha into 6 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 plus beta into v 0 comma 5 comma minus 3 comma 1 plus gamma into 0 comma 0 comma 7 comma minus 2 equal to 0 0 0 0 4 zeros 4 tuple it is and 4 tuple ok then first equation will be 6 alpha 6 alpha plus 0 beta plus 0 gamma plus 0 beta plus 0 gamma equal to 0 look at this second equation what is the second equation second equation I will write or you can see on your screen what will be the second equation you can think about that second equation what will be the second equation the second equation is 2 alpha plus phi u beta plus 0 gamma equal to 0 third equation third equation 3 alpha minus 3 beta plus 7 gamma equal to 0 fourth equation 4 alpha 
plus beta minus 2 gamma equal to 0. So, we get we have these four equation. Now, from this first equation you can see that from this first equation we can calculate the value of alpha. Now, we get the value of alpha equal to 0. Okay. If we substitute here value of alpha equal to 0 in the second equation, you can see that already we have 0 gamma. So, if we put alpha equal to 0, we get beta equal to 0. Now, in the third equation, put these two value in the third equation and we get gamma equal to 0. So, the linear combination is 0 only when all the scalars are 0 and therefore, these vectors are linearly dependent vectors. These are the two examples of linearly dependent and linearly independent vector. Remember uh, this def very important definition of linearly dependent vector and linearly independent vector. Every time you should check about the linear independence and linear dependence by taking the linear combination of scalar sign vector. Calculate uh, the values of the scalar. If values of the scalars, all the scalars are 0, then the vectors are um, vectors are linearly independent. If uh, at least one scalar is not equal to 0, then the uh, vectors are said to be linearly dependent. What we have to calculate? These vectors, whatever may be the vector. Suppose, I have n vectors, then uh, alpha 2 v 2 plus 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 alpha n v n equal to 0. I the take this combination, substitute the values of scalars and calculate uh, substitute the values of the vectors and calculate the scalar quantities. If scalar quantities are 0, all the scalar quantities are 0, then the vectors are said to be linearly independent vector. Okay. Now, we prove one lemma the statement of the lemma is if v 1, v 2, v n belongs to v are linearly, linearly independent, linearly independent, then, then every, every element every element in in their linear span in their linear span linear span has a unique representation unique representation unique representation in the form in the form in the form what is the form lambda 1 v 1 plus lambda 2 v 2 plus 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 lambda n v n where lambda i belongs to f for all i for all i. So, let me first write what is mean by linear span the vector you are uh, we have seen that the definition of linear span a non empty set of vectors i think uh, if s yes is a non empty set s yes is a non empty set of the vectors of the vectors of the vectors of the vector space v then l of s the linear span it is called as a linear span we have seen one theorem linear span of s is the set of set of all linear combinations linear 
combinations of of finite finite sets of elements of elements of yes this is called as a linear space linear span yes is a non empty subset empty subset of vector space v then take the linear combination of finite set of vectors then all type of linear combinations belongs to the l of l of s and we have to show that if these are the vectors v1 v2 vn then we get the linear span of this vector whatever may be the combination of this vector vectors they belongs to l of s and we have to prove that if these vector are linearly independent then their linear span the, this linear combination is a unique linear combination okay so to prove this we assume that suppose we have two linear combinations we have two types of linear combination alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2 plus 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 alpha n v n equal to lambda 1 v 1 plus lambda 2 v 2 plus 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 lambda n v n these are the two linear combination this is a one linear uh, this is this is a unique uh, we have to prove that this is a unique but as this represent the same they are e this is a equal okay now from this by simple mathematical calculation we can write this as alpha 1 minus lambda 1 into v 1 plus alpha 2 minus lambda 2 into v 2 plus 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 alpha n minus lambda n into v n equal to 0. Now look at this alpha 1 minus lambda 1 again we get another scalar therefore we replace this scalar by another quantity suppose my that quantity is a beta 1 beta 1 into v 1 plus beta 2 into v 2 plus 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 beta n into v n equal to 0 this is my quantity. Now we have linear combination equal to 0 but in the statement we have given that these vectors are linearly independent vector and their linear combination is 0 if and only if all the scalars are 0 that means we have beta 1 equal to beta 2 equal to beta n equal to 0 but beta 1 that means alpha 1 minus gamma 1 equal to 0 this implies alpha 1 equal to lambda 1 this is lambda 1 alpha 2 minus lambda 2 equal to 0 this implies that alpha 2 equal to lambda 2 and similarly alpha n equal to lambda n this shows that the uh, scalars are not different they are equal and hence the linear combination uh, linear represent uh, the representation is unique ok. So, again we prove one theorem regarding uh, this uh, linearly dependent and independent vectors. Let us prove one theorem. I will write the statement of the theorem. This is again and uh, important theorem. Theorem. Statement of the theorem is that if V1, V2, Vn are in V, are in V, then then either they are either they are linearly linearly independent 
independent or or some some vk is a linear combination linear combination of the preceding of the preceding one preceding v1 v2 and v k minus 1 this is an important theorem if v1 v2 vn are in v they are either linearly independent or some vector is linear combination of the preceding one proof suppose that first what we want to show that either they are linearly independent if they are not linearly independent then some vector is a linear combination of its preceding one now first possibility if these vectors are linearly independent these vectors are linearly independent then we have to prove we have to show this possibility first possibility what is the first possibility they are linearly independent this is we want to prove linearly independent and what is second if it is not if they are not linearly independent that means if they are linearly independent then some v k some v k is linear combination of the preceding vector alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2 plus 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 alpha k minus 1 v k minus 1 this is we want to prove either this or either this ok either this one or either this one this is we want to prove they are linearly independent now what happen if they are linearly independent first if these vectors v1 v2 vn are linearly independent then nothing to prove we have proved they are either linearly uh, independent we need not go further okay now if they are not linearly independent this is if if v1 v1 v2 vn are linearly dependent linearly dependent what is definition of linear dependence let us take the linear combination lambda 1 v 1 plus lambda 2 v 2 plus 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 lambda n v n equal to 0 where not all lambda i's are 0 not all the uh, scalars are 0 some of them may be 0 it is possible that some of the scalars are 0 likewise for example i will write the linear combination here look at this suppose i have vector 3 into u plus 0 into v plus 1 into w equal to 0 this is one type of linear combination and you can see that in this linear combination one scalar is a 0 so it is possible that there are some scalars are 0 now we want to delete this vector then what we get we get 3u plus omega w equal to 0 that means we get two vectors if i i would like to omit this 0 0 vector uh, 0 scalars then i have two vectors only 3u plus w equal to 0 this one that means we have only two vectors and similarly in this linear combination if few scalars are 0 omit that scalar and let us renumber so instead of uh, w v and w if we take v1 v2 vn uh, v1 v2 v3 what we get this equation will be what uh, this will be what we get 3 u 1 plus 0 u 2 plus u 3 equal to 0 then u 2 0 u 2 is omitted 
we get u1 plus uh, u3. Now let us renumber this vector. Renumbering we get two vectors u1 and u2. Sim likewise here we renumber the vectors and scalar. Suppose we have this one. Suppose that we renumber the vectors alpha 1 v 1 alpha 1 v 1 plus 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 alpha k into v k equal to 0. Here not any vector not any alpha i equal to 0. No vector no scalar is 0. We have renumbered all the scalars. Okay. Now, if it is uh, they are not 0, we write this as alpha k into v k equal to minus alpha 1 v 1 plus alpha 2 v 2 plus 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 alpha k minus 1 v k minus 1 and v k equal to minus alpha 1 divided by alpha k into v 1. This is a plus minus alpha 2 divided by alpha k into v 2 plus 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 minus alpha k minus 1 into alpha k into v k minus 1. Okay. So, in this form we get v k as a linear combination of its preceding vectors v 1, v 2, v k minus 1. Okay. So, it is proved if the vectors are linearly independent or if they are not linearly independent that is if they are linearly dependent then it is possible to write some vector in the form of linear combination of its preceding vectors. Now, we stop here and uh, today we have seen a very important concept what is mean by linear dependent, what is mean by linearly independent. Uh, in the linear span the vectors are uh, the vectors are uniquely represent and one important theorem regarding the linearly independent vectors. Thank you.